Hello everyone, welcome back to the Fat Hipster channel. I'm John, and today I just received this delivery from Subway. And it has my name on it, because I ordered it. And uh, I do have some uh, some sub sandwiches here, but that's not going to be on this video, because that's just what I'm going to have for lunch today. Uh, but there are three items that I have purchased that I'm going to try give you guys some information about in my opinion and uh, see if they're good bad or good deal or not and those are Subway has introduced these new items that they're referring to as like the super sides or spectacular sides or or maybe just sidekicks yeah that's right new sidekicks there are three foot-long sides that you now buy with your foot-long subs. This is a foot, right? Pretty good. Remembering what 12 inches looks like, you know what I'm saying. Uh, but uh, three things. Two are more desserty and one is more uh, savory. I'm going to hopefully try to pick the savory one first. So it comes in this package. Okay, this is this is the length right here. You got 12 inches, you told me. Anyway, this one is the anti ans footlong pretzel. Hopefully I won't get salt everywhere. Here's what it looks like. It's like a ribbed for your pleasure eating. Um, I thought I ordered some sauce to dip this in. Okay, and, um, the ticket says honey mustard sauce. They didn't give me that honey mustard sauce. What am I going to do? I have to try it how it is. So this is a foot long pretzel. This cost three dollars from Subway, and let me get you some information about it. Okay, it is three hundred and thirty calories worth of pretzel for three dollars. If you go to an Aunt Addie's, they actually don't have anything like this. They don't have any long stick pretzel available at any at, at Annie's. So this is like a exclusive only to Subway Aunt Annie's treat. But their original pretzel is 340 calories, so I'm going to measure off that because it must be a similar amount of item. So original pretzel is $5.49. Of course, it comes in the big pretzel shape. The Aunt Annie's footlong pretzel is only $3. So very comparable, only a 10 calorie difference, which is really within a margin of error. It's supposed to come with a sauce that you choose, which I didn't get, um, with for no extra cost. Uh, so that would be good if you got that. Uh, but let's see how it tastes. Interestingly, like, it broke right on those bridges. I don't know if like, you really wanted to sh oh, you probably like, dunk each one. Like, mm -hmm. Pair off piece, dunk. This would be nice if I had some sauce. Pick up some of these salt crystals. Well, that one. Improve it. So, it's okay. They have it's definitely pretzely. It is different than I don't remember what. But it, Auntie Anne's, I can't want to say Aunt Annie. Auntie Anne's pretzel uh, from malls that I've had it from. I don't know, it just seems different. But I will have to say the price, if you compare it to an Aunt Annie's pretzel, this comes with sauce. If you go to a Auntie Anne's, you have to pay extra for sauce. So, deal, probably decent and good. 
feel. Uh, I wish it was warmer. Maybe I'll microwave it. I think I have some other sauce in my fridge that I can use for it. Probably. Um, it could be better. So I'm going to actually wait and not eat more of it right now until I can go doctor it up some way. Microwave it, get some, some uh, I think I have my own honey mustard actually. It'll be better that way. Like it is, it's very dry. Um, but I think the pretzels are probably dry. Moving ahead because I don't have anything more to say about that one. This is the Footlong Cinnabon Churro. There we go. That is the Footlong Churro. It has cinnamon sugar on it. This cost two dollars, and it's about a hundred. It says 190 calories. Interestingly, Cinnabon has their own churros. It doesn't necessarily say how long it is. But one churro, if you buy it from Cinnabon, they say it's 210 calories. And it costs $3.29. So $1.30 extra for, what, 20 extra calories? Um, so it's a little bit bigger, I guess, but it, at $1.30, the value is in here. Uh, let's go ahead and taste it and see if it tastes good. It's a little, a little bendy, so it could be crispier. Well, it's not like super dry like the, the pretzel was. This is a bit of a cinnamony, sugary, buttery flavor going on. It's not super sweet or overpowering though. Uh, it's a nice, nice little treat for two dollars compared to a cinnamon uh, churro you get in the mall. It's a pretty good deal. So if you uh, are a fan of those cinnamon churros that you get in the mall, now you can get them at Subway and you can get them cheaper. Lastly, this one's the most hefty of them. You can like feel the weight of it when you hold this one. This is the Subway Footlong Cookie. It comes in its own pan. More looks like that way. So I'm guessing they might have these like like semi semi cooked or maybe just in the refrigerator when someone orders them they pop them in the oven. Um, it does feel a little bit warm too. Um, the pretzel might have been warm like these were delivered, so who knows if they were like really fresh and you ordered there and you ate it how how warm would we? This one I think because of like the mass of it has held onto some warmth. You can feel it underneath here. This is five dollars. So it's the most expensive of the sidekicks. But it's also one thousand four hundred and forty calories in this. That's as much calories as some people eat in a day who are healthy. They they're not like the other one was Auntie Anne's and Cinnabon. This one doesn't have like a brand that's going with. It just says Subway, registered trademark, footlong cookie. So I decided to compare it with other Subway cookie, specifically the chocolate chip. You can buy one chocolate chip cookie from Subway for 99 cents. There's probably some deals where you can get multiples for cheaper, I'm guessing. But at the Subway that I'm looking at here, one that I ordered from, one chocolate chip cookie is 99 cents. One chocolate chip cookie is 210 calories. So if you do that math, there are 6.85 regular chocolate chip cookies in the full long chocolate chip cookie. And 99 cents each, that's about a dollar each, so you're looking at about six dollars and seventy eight cents for that where this is 
$5. So another actual deal. You're actually saving money uh, getting this. So across the board, all three, they're good deals. So if you like Auntie Anne's, if you're not near your mall, you can go to Subway, you can get a very similar product or cheaper. If you like the churro from Cinnabon at the mall, you go to Subway, cheaper. I'm not sure if they're exactly the same things, but they say they have the brand name on it, so they must be involved somehow. All right, I'm going to go ahead and try to get myself a piece of this cookie. It is pretty soft. Right, let's grab the little corner there. Pretty packed with chocolate chips. Smells like a freshly baked cookie. It's a bit cakey for a cookie. If you prefer a more crisp or caramelized cookie, then this probably won't be uh, your favorite. But if you're a fan of like the thicker dough, almost cake-like uh, texture, to your cookies you'll love this one and uh i'm sure you could even uh warm this up microwave a little bit get a little more gooey in the middle um but again it's a good deal compared to uh pricing out for individual cookies flavor is okay i enjoyed it enough that i'm gonna say all three of these i'm gonna give it a thumbs up the the weakest one is the pretzel one but again, I think if I microwave it and I actually get some sauce, it's going to be very enjoyable. Um, so I'm not too disappointed in that one. Uh, so Subway, good job on these uh, new sidekicks. I like them, and they get the Fat Hipster seal of approval. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. Like and subscribe. I'll see you in the next one.